Britain and the world paid a final farewell to the nation's longest reigning monarch on Monday. Queen Elizabeth II has now been buried alongside her late husband, Prince Philip, at Windsor Castle. Kim Yo Sun starts us off this morning. The imperial state crown, the symbol of the monarch's power and governance, was removed from Queen Elizabeth's coffin during her committal service on Monday. This marked the end of the late queen's reign. Some 800 guests attended the service at St. George's Chapel in Windsor Castle before the queen's burial. Later in the evening, in a private family service, the queen was buried alongside her husband, Prince Philip, who died last year at the age of 99. Windsor Castle is the resting place of over a dozen kings and queens, including Queen Elizabeth's parents and sister. After announcing that she had been buried at Windsor Castle, the royal family disclosed a previously unpublished photograph of the queen. The queen's death marks the beginning of her son King Charles III's reign. Britain now awaits its first coronation in nearly seven decades. King Charles' coronation has not yet been given a date, but it will take place at Westminster Abbey, as has been the tradition for the past 1,000 years. Watchers say the new king will likely be crowned following a suitable period of grief in the spring or summer of next year. Kim Yo-san, Arirang News.